Hi everyone, Miss Kaylin here, and today's story time is all about the letter M. And our story today is based on a Ukrainian folktale called The Mitten. Mitten starts with the letter M. And the version I'm telling is based on the adaptation by Jan Brett. Are you ready for the story? Here we go. Once there was a little boy named Nikki, and all Nikki wanted was for his grandmother to make him mittens as white as snow. But his grandmother said, now if I make you mittens as white as snow, you must promise not to lose them. Because if you drop one in the snow, you'll never be able to find it. And Nikki said, I promise grandma. So she made him mittens as white as snow. And he was so excited. But before he could go outside and play, his grandmother said, now Nikki, when you come back from playing, I'm going to check for two things. First, that you are safe and sound. And second, that you still have both of your mittens. And Nikki said, yes, ma'am. And he ran outside to play in the snow. But it wasn't long before he was playing and one of his mittens flew off into the air and landed in the snow. And he looked around and couldn't find it anywhere. So he ran off to keep playing. And that mitten got left behind all alone. Until along came a mole, cold, alone, with nowhere to go. He needed a place to hide from the snow. Do you know of a place he can hide from the snow? Huh. He saw the mitten. The mole saw the mitten and he wiggled inside and the mitten stretched to just the right size until along came a hedgehog, cold and alone with nowhere to go. She needed a place to hide from the snow. Do you know where she can go? Did you say the mitten? That's right. Hedgehog saw the mitten and she wiggled inside and the mitten stretched to just the right size until along came a rabbit, cold, alone, with nowhere to go. He needed a place to hide from the snow. Do you know where the rabbit can go? Did you say the mitten? That's right. Rabbit saw the mitten and wiggled inside and the mitten stretched to just the right size until along came a fox, cold, alone, with nowhere to go. He needed a place to hide from the snow. Do you know where the fox can go? The fox saw the mitten and he wiggled inside and the mitten stretched to just the right size until along came an owl, cold, alone, and nowhere to go. He needed a place to hide from the snow. Do you know where the owl can go? Did you say the mitten? That's right. So the owl saw the mitten and wiggled inside. And the mitten stretched to just the right size until along came, oh my goodness, a bear. A bear, cold, alone, with nowhere to go. She needed a place to hide from the snow. Where do you think the bear can go? Do you think she'll fit inside the mitten? Let's see. The bear saw the mitten and 
squiggled and squeezed and squished inside. Oh my goodness. There we go. And the mitten stretched to just the right size until along came a field mouse, cold, alone, with nowhere to go. She needed a place to hide from the snow. Do you know where the mouse can go? Hmm. The mouse saw the mitten and she tried to squeeze inside, but there was no room left. So she went to the only place she could go, which happened to be on the very tip of Bear's nose. And when Mouse's tail tickled Bear's nose, he let out a giant, uh, uh, achoo! And when he did, out flew Mole, and out flew the hedgehog. The force of the sneeze flew out Rabbit and Fox. Oh my goodness! And Owl, Wolf, and Mouse, and Bear. They flipped out of the mitten, and the mitten flew into the air. And right when it began to land, out reached a boy with his hand and caught the mitten. And it was Nikki. Nikki found his long lost mitten, but it was a little bit bigger than he last saw it. But at least he still had both to show his grandma. The in. I'll be back next week with the letter in. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.